It's one piece thy skin won't shape up. Today's topic is this unrevealed truth about Inusama and his relation to the devil fruits. As always, I'm gonna tell you my conclusion first. In chapter 1028, we all missed a massive hint Oda had dropped, which is. The devil fruits are artifacts after all, and the person who has been creating these is Inusama. Let's get started. It's one piece thy skin won't change. Next! There is one fundamental scene that made me bring up the theory, which is this one. When we first saw this scene, we were certainly not thinking much but just Oda's usual running game. But every time Oda brings something like this up, I get cautious more than ever, as he often tries to bend our thoughts from something important, and he's really really good at it. And not only Queen's neck shooting out from his body, also Sasaki after his transformation, his neck started spinning. We were just like Chopper in this scene yelling how the hell, but what kind of gimmick was Oda actually hiding in here? The ability of Devil Fruits reflects the imagination of the creator. If the Zorn Fruits would just give the power of its natural character 101, phenomenons like the neck of a Triceratops spinning around couldn't get reality. As the dinosaurs during the Little Garden Saga confirmed, there are no major differences in the essential qualities between the dinosaurs in One Piece world and real world. It means there must be some special power of the person creating the devil fruits assisting to justify the phenomenon that happened to them. This scene which we were distracted from by ignoring a running gag was actually Oda's hidden and most vital message in order to reveal the mystery about devil fruits. At the same time when chapter 1020A was published, the official One Piece YouTube channel uploaded at exactly 0 o'clock on 11th October a wrap-up video about the Devil Fruits. I'd never think that it was nothing but a coincidence. Okay, now let's unravel the well-known mystery, the Devil Fruits being an artifact. The ability of Devil Fruits reflects the imagination of the creator. This theory leads us to the conjecture that Devil Fruits are created by someone. In the first place, the theory that Devil Fruits are no natural products but artifacts is nothing new. Probably this possibility of Devil Fruits artifacts was claimed by many theorists for over more than 10 years. But maybe some of you guys have never heard of it, so I'm gonna wrap this up in brief. Reason 1. Paramecian Fruits As you know, the devil fruit that our main character Ruffy ate was Gomu Gomu no Mi, a Paramecian devil fruit. Starring with rubber, most of the Paramecian abilities in the One Piece story are based on artifacts. Among all the different abilities, let's take Choki Choki no Mi as an easy example. Obviously, eating the Choki Choki no Mi, it makes the user scissor human. Since a scissor itself is an artifact, the logical deduction would be, first, there were scissors and Choki Choki no Mi that used scissors as a subject was created afterwards. Therefore, Devil Fruits haven't existed in nature but came into existence later. Opposed to other manga, since in every One Piece settings, there is always some kind of logic behind, this one can be admitted as a quite persuasive reason. Reason 2. Inability to swim. The next one is about Devil Fruit users getting special powers are also granted permanent inability to swim in return. I won't go too much into detail because it will get too deep. The Devil Fruits are most probably created by a technology or ability from the moon. Since there is no ocean on the moon, the creator wasn't able to make an assumption of their power and this weak point remains. This hypothesis at the same time leads us to our next reason. Reason 3. Thinking out the history. The mutual understanding among the One Piece fans that, back in the time, the current world government conducted war against the Great Kingdom is doubtless. Considering the current government once consisted of 20 nations and additional allies, we can assume that they took advantage of their most powerful thing, manpower. In order to fight off the manpower, the Great Kingdom possessed the ancient weapons or devil fruits. So to sum up, both the ancient weapons and devil fruits were created by the Great Kingdom by its technology from the moon. Then the current government ruined the Great Kingdom's reign over the blue planet by its huge manpower. 
Thinking this way makes the second reason inability to swim quite reasonable. So what we can now derive from above points is that the very fruits are artifacts created by the citizen of the moon. This is the common theory about devil fruits being an artifact. The basis is legit, but also sufficient epicness in it. The theory is really awesome. But yet another question mark arises, which is what method is used to create the devil fruits? And right here, I want to bring Imusama, who kept secrets so far. This will be the core of my today theory. It's one piece, thy skin mob chain. Next. Now let's get our attention back to chapter 1028. By the way, what did you think when you first saw the neck of Brachiosaurus shooting out or the neck of the Triceratops spinning? At least, I can imagine that, oh that looks powerful, is not what you guys thought of. If devil fruits were supposed to give power to become a weapon, they should just drive after powers that are actually strong, but their ability as you can see here is rather funny than strong. That is because not only the lack of knowledge about dinosaurs is an issue, but it's a matter of the playfulness of the Devil Fruits creator. It's like the creator was thinking, that would be funny if it was like that. At least my impression is that it's like a toy a child is playing with. A child who has the knowledge and ability to create Devil Fruits. There's only one person who'd be qualified for this in the current One Piece world, that would be Imusama. If we think one step further, Imusama who is able to create the Devil Fruits is an immortal child. When looking at the conversation between Gorose and Imusama, it's pretty obvious that they already attained immortality. Further, the possibility Imusama having an appearance like a child can also be derived from the link between Sugar and Imusama. One of the executives of the Don Quixote family, Sugar. She and Imusama have many things in common. First, the clock and crown. Imusama, the emperor who is allowed to sit on the empty throne, wearing a crown makes sense, but why Sugar? Even though the Flamingo is the one reigning over Dressrosa, it's oddly Sugar who is wearing the crown. If you think about it now, Oda perhaps intentionally put a crown on Sugar in order to make the link between those two possible. And both of them have in common that they are totally kept secret from public attention, and also that both play an essential role of the storyline. Based on these features, Sugar's most substantial characteristic her appearance having stopped to grow up under the influence of Hobby Hobby no Mi was somehow adopted to Imusama's character setting. So that we can assume, could it be that Imusama looks like a child? Are you following me so far? Imusama is an immortal child whose existing is a top secret. If the theory is more or less on point, what Imusama desires the most must be a playmate. Imusama must be far away from being free. He even can't make a single step out of the castle, just being charged with a certain mission. He must be craving for freedom or friends. In that case, the Hobby Hobby no Mi Sugar has eaten might be a creation of Imusama to make a playmate for himself. Desiring to have someone who can be with him from the same point of view. Desiring to keep creating toys and creatures to play with forever. Precisely because the Hobby Hobby no Mi was made driven by these two desires, this devil fruit perhaps made the appearance of its user to stop growing. Like Sugar wearing a crown as introduced earlier, I personally didn't feel her appearance having stopped to grow as something mandatory for the storyline. This is my theory at this present day about Imusama and devil fruits. Wrapping it up, Imusama is an immortal child. He somehow can create devil fruits. Hobby Hobby no Mi is meant to make his playmate. In the ability of Queen and Sasaki, the playfulness of Imusama is reflected. That's it. However, if Imusama was the only person who can create devil fruits, the question, how is it possible for Imusama to create the devil fruits which are made by the technology of the moon, remains to be answered. The more proper the answer to that question is, the more credibility gets my today theory. And the root cause to make the theory labeled as truth is... The East Blue Saga. That's it for today, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. 
Prior to this video, I uploaded my theory about the Lunarians which is closely linked to this video. What happened to Imusama in the past? How will Joy Boy get involved in all of this? Having started this new channel, I'm gonna drop many exciting videos for you guys, so stay tuned.